All right, let's draft again. I think I have time for, I don't know if I have time to complete this draft, um, but we definitely have time to go through the draft again. I'm gonna have to go at uh, 5 p.m. my time. So that's about an hour from now, hour, 10 minutes. All right, this is sweet. I don't think that this card is actually insane or anything, but like, I think it's very good. Two preserver, nice. Hey DC Sports, how you doing? Did you hear the news about Twitch drops for this weekend? And also the plans of interactive Twitch drops? It's very exciting. Check out that website. Okay, so we're gonna take end of the line here. All right, we've got a couple of good shadow cards, but there's also a Master at Arms here. I think that's the best card. There's also Living Example, although I don't hate Target Caller. Target Caller is pretty good. This is also very good at enabling the tribute for end of the line. Although it's not like the the actual effect of the tribute is very exciting for end of the line. Um, yeah, I think that Master at Arms is the best card, but like Tar Caller is good and it's in our factions and it combos well with a lot of stuff like Blade Whirl, so I'm gonna take that. All right, we're gonna follow that up with a Cut Ties. Again, Cut Ties is not the best card or anything, but it's, I think it's pretty reasonably good. The other option is actually just take the sledge with the target color. That's pretty good. Eh, I'll do that. I'm in for that. I would rather play an aggressive deck than not an aggressive deck. For fixing, uh, for living example, um, I did, I, I feel like, so I feel like Master at Arms is better than living example. And if I was going to do that, I would just rather have, um, I would, if, if I was going to take an off-faction card, I would just rather have uh, Master at Arms. Okay, this pack kind of sucks. Uh, we, there's Back Alley Delinquent. There's also Firefang Charmer. Um, like, I think Charmer is good if we're being aggressive with like Ruination Sledge, but not the best, generally speaking. Um, it is good with Target Color. I don't love this card, but I don't love Delinquent either. I'll take the Charmer. Uh, there's another Charmer, but there's also Territorial Elf that's great with the target color. Take that. There's a Cut Ties. There's also another Ruination Sledge. I think I'm on the Ruination Sledge plan. We're gonna try to just try to get him dead with the target color. Ooh, Pensive Lumen. I like Pensive Lumen. Um, we'll just take Spore Breath. Okay, you could just... Trick Shot might actually be good in this deck the way that it's looking. Overheat or Lockhorns. We don't have anything with Overhelm, but I don't, I don't hate Overheat. Um, I think I think I'll take it over Lockhorns there. All right, the Scale Chance Rusher is nice. Oh, that sucks. It can't feel good, DC Sports. Well, you could do what I did and become your own boss. Then you don't have to deal with other people's de decisions. Well, that's not entirely true. I've definitely had days that were annoying because of decisions other people made. Okay, we're gonna take the owning run in here. We're gonna just be an aggressive deck, I think, this time. Ooh, ooh, this pack is not good. We could take the Zine Destroyer, but I think that's actually kind of reasonable with our double Renation Sledge. I know I can call you Zack. Uh, I don't, I don't think I want Pitfire. I'll take the Destroyer. Ooh, Recycler. That's a good one. Yeah, there's also a Into the Furnace here that looks pretty cool. But I think that Recycler is fantastic with this, the way that this deck is shaping up. Here we have Grand Indrone or Bandit. I like that this, I like the synergies that the drone has, but in our deck, Bandit might be really good. So I'll take that. Um, not in love with any of these. We could take the Sparkbot or the Coaxer. I'll just take the spark bot. I think it plays into synergies. I'm really not a fan of Coaxer. Ooh, Combust. Sure, we'll take Combust. Could really use some uh, units to sacrifice. We'll take Thorn Beast here. I like Thorn Beast. Um, Devour is fine, but I think that Thorn Beast is just better. Ooh, Gun Down. Nice removal. Waystone. I like that. Gorilla Fighter. Not in love with that. Ooh, Grand Indrone. Okay, that goes well with some of our Grand In slash. Uh, Sacrifice synergies. 
Okay, there's a gun down here, but there's also a Dream Snatcher, and Dream Snatcher is interesting in that if you ever somehow get up to 10 power, you just win the game. It, this ability may as well say win the game on the bottom. Um, so we've that, got that or gun down. Um, I think I just want units. Hey, I'm glad to hear that, well damn. Glad to hear that you got, well, glad to hear that you got a 7-win draft, not a, they had lots of bad luck drafts. I mean, that happens to everyone. Uh, I've definitely had streams where I've gotten less than one win uh, multiple times. And anyone that says that doesn't happen to them is probably full of it, so. Yeah. Well, I hope that uh, the information I provide has been useful. That's why I put it out there. We got Tumblebang, but honestly, like, Moonlit Gargoyle is just, like, a really good aggressive unit, so we'll take that. Uh, Predictable Outlaw is okay, but I like Gargoyle a lot. It's really scary. Ooh, another Recycler. Okay. We have a lot of threes. I think we could do with more twos, considering we just have, like, Dream Snatcher, Target Caller, and Elf. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. I think we're going to take the Slumbering Stone here, because we've got the... We, we've got the Combust and the Thorn Beast, so... Yeah. There's another gun down. There's also a Skycrack banner, but we don't have anything to splash. We'll just take the gun down. We'll have some or sorry, expensive removal. Oh, this is an interesting pick. Recano Outlaw is obviously very, very good, and it's good with the Ruination Sledges. But there's also a Scrap Hound in this pack, and I think this card is also very good. We've got plenty of synergy to go with it, and just sacrificing another unit like the uh, Slumbering Stone might be good. But I think that Outlaw is good enough on its own, like, just as far as playing it drop on turn two, it can't really be beat. That's a nice, um, a nice gift, that torch. Fevered Scout? We could take the Fevered Scout. I don't love Fevered Scout, but I don't hate it either. Uh, ooh, Rampage. Okay, I think we'll be doing that. We don't need a Doorbot. There's another Rampage. We might be playing both these Rampages. It goes really well with the uh, Quick Draw. Honor the Ancestors. I don't think we're too into Honor the Ancestors. I think we're just going to take the Blade World here. We've got a lot of strong cards in other factions, but Blade World's fine as a 5-drop, and uh, it's going to be good in this deck. Very hard for you to pass out a lot. Yeah, it certainly got better, too. How did my first draft go? We ran into Eric, and we got 5 wins, and then ran into Eric, and that was it. Um, so we had a lot of opponents that were just, like, stuck on power, though. <laughs> I see you there. Okay, so I, I kind of like Hot Blood Barbarian because we were kind of low on twos. I think we're good on threes, so I'm not I'm not desperate for Grand Emotive. Also, we don't need to ramp to anything big, so I'll just take the Barbarian here. I don't love Barbarian, but I think it's fine. Okay, we've got Call the Deck, Light em Up, War Painter. Don't love any of them, so I'll take Call the Deck. Aw, oh, man. I love this card. All right, we're going to take the Ruination Sledge here. Uh, ooh, there's a good two-drop. We'll take the Territorial Elf. We certainly only have one speed. Oh, man. If we had taken that... Did we... We didn't take up that... Uh, that... What do you call it? That... Um, banner, but Bloodthirsty Brawler would certainly be an interesting one to have. <laughs> Wait, did you get unblockable, or did your opponent get unblockable? Because... One of those is fantastic for you, and the other one is not fantastic for you. Okay, Drifter. You got it. Nice. Oh, nice. Another target color. Piana bearing Stereosaur. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, we might be the Mindfire deck. Okay, so this is really just... Oh my god, another Drifter. Okay, this is the uh, Lucid Iguana tribute deck. Get it? Tribute? Playing the bandit. I think we'll probably play the fighters also. Gun down at the top. The curve. Probably better than sorcerer, because we're just trying to get our early units through. We have a million playables too. Jeez, can we even play the end of the line? 
All right, guys. I'm going to need some help here. What do we cut? <laughs> We've got a lot of playables for this deck. Some better than other, admittedly. I mean, what's the bar for playables? <laughs> I think this is a Drifter deck. You know, Dream Snatcher might be on the low end of things, because we're never ever getting to 10, and it's not as aggressive as our other two drops. And it's not a two drop we can necessarily reliably play on turn two. So I'm kind of in for cutting that. I think we play the Gundowns, because we're going to need some removal. I don't know about the end of the line. I don't know if we want, like, four or five drops, jeez. Mm, I'm pretty sure that we do play, like, all these sledges. This is probably a 14 power deck. Do we play the Slumbering Stone? Like, having a flyer, having access to a flyer with, like, the Combust or the Thern Beast is, is pretty nice. We could chop the Eulogist, that's pretty meh. So like, Dream Snatcher is on the chopping block. This is 35 cards, by the way. We can cut a lot of cards from here. Um, I think I'm gonna cut down end of the line. It's kind of sad, but we're not playing de defense. That's where that card's good. Let's cut down, yeah, we're just not playing defense. I'm gonna get rid of all these life stealers. Um, I think we have better two drop, uh, sorry, better three drops than Eulogist. So I'm just gonna get rid of that one. So this is 31 cards. Uh, in a deck like this though, Crimson, I feel like our other two drops are just so much better. I could cut a Sledge, but we've got like two target colors. Sledge with target color is real. Um, I could cut a five. I think I cut a five here. Scout requires two many spells. Okay, I could be on board with that. We've got a few 5-drops in this deck. Um, so, like, if we draw a hand that's all 5s, that's really awkward. But, on the other hand, our 5s are really powerful. Like, we've got Blade Whirl, Gargoyle. Actually, Blade Whirl might not be the best, oh, but we have so much quick draw. Like, having 4 or 5 drops is pretty weird. I don't think we're going to play the Rune on the Rune Nation Sledge that often. We're just going to stick it on something and go to town. This deck has so many options that are, like, explosive, you know? I could see cutting a 5 for, like, the 4-1. This is going to get some damage through. Yeah, I'll cut the Blade Whirl for Eulogist. That has a lot of sledges. Oh, this is the... <laughs> this is the Lucid Iguana Tribute deck. Uh, I get them later than I think I should, Dokumoi. Alright. Oh, this deck has... This deck has some potential. <laughs> They've overperformed for you in aggro. Huh, interesting. I think the... I like the Tinker, the 2-2 two -two with Endurance that gives you a Tinker. I like that one. I think Hot Blood Barbarian is fine. I don't think it's insane. Man, if we go Hot Blood Barbarian... Sorry, if we go any... Uh... <laughs> if we go any 2-drop with a Sledge and they can't block, that's insane. Let's redraw this hand. Alright, Drifter into Ruination Sledge. Seems good. We're going second though, so that kinda sucks. And they- oh god. That's actually like, pretty scary against us. Cause if they- like, any fast spell turns into Crown Watch Tactic with this guy. Yeah, looks like they do have a fast spell in, in fact. Um. <laughs> do I just do it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, even just like a rapid shot. Even if it doesn't. Oh my god. What is this? My lid's too good. <clears throat> now they have target collar. And they're attacking. Jeez. Alright, well, that says that they have a trick. Wait for 5 5. I was thinking about it, but I really don't want to do it nothing on turn 2. And based on what they played, waiting would have been really bad. <laughs> Alright, block here. Strength of many. Okay, well, I think we have to use the rampage here. Well, we are getting destroyed. <laughs> I mean, we do have a combust. It's not big enough to deal with that. Mm -hmm. and they got it. Yeah, if I had held my sledge, I would have been in a better position, but I. I don't really know what we could have done against that. One drop that can lifesteal into Annihilate. Sorry, into, into two drop into Annihilate. I mean, Annihilate. So, the thing about Annihilate is it's just like it kills almost everything in a format with a, not very much removal. Annihilate is just like heads and shoulders better than the rest of the removal, and it can kill big stuff, which a lot of the other removal can't deal with. Um. So, like, basically, every time, Annihilate's going to be a blowout. Just because it's so different from the other removal in the format, and costs so much less. So, basically, don't pass Annihilate. Let's redraw that. There we go, both factions. Just gonna slam the Ruination Sledge on turn two. Yeti Spy. Okay. I think I want to get the fix it down before I want to think about trading. If I can, of course. Brandon Belver. Alright. Not so much for that. Put this here and attack here. I think it's tough for them to draw a card with the Eddie Spy. That might be wrong though. It's gotta be a rapid shot or something. Alright, you got it. Well, our opponent seems to also be stuck <laughs> on two power. Having this Thorn Beast. Oh, I see. Getting a 5 5. Alright, well, let's get Warcries in and some damage in while we can. It's 10. Drops them down to 11. This is still gonna be a problem, but I think it means that it's more difficult for them to play aggressive. And we have a bunch of Warcries on top of our deck. Extinguish. Okay. Alright. So that's a 6 5. That's pretty good. Attack. This is just trades. Okay, we're gonna play Recycler. We're gonna play probably a second Recycler, actually.
Because if they attack with the 5-5, five five, we just block here. We can fix it. If they want to use... Yeah, they had some sort of fast spell, but I think that's fine. Fix it costing 2 is nice also. Hmm. I think I just play the Grill Fire this turn. How do you feel about triggering Nightfall when you're prone to? Okay, so I think that you wait a couple turns, then you go for it. Like once you're ahead on board, then you trigger Nightfall, and then I think it's really good. You're, yeah, you don't want to draw them out of it immediately. Like, if your opponent misses their second power drop and you're thinking about playing Nightfall on turn three, I think that's not the thing to do. I think that you wait a couple turns, if, especially if you can advance your board. If you can't, well, then that might not work out so well. My opponent is making it nighttime also. If I put the fix it here, nine, they have to double block. Maybe just put the fix it here and attack with both, right? If they block here, they die. They take six if they do it here. I'm pretty happy trading the recycler for their varmint. Or that. Um, did I do the math wrong? Oh, I think I just didn't do the math if they double blocked. If I attacked with both, rather. Alright, that was good. <laughs> More of that, please. More being on the play with the uh, Oni Ronin. Alright, time to bust this out again. Alright, we got... Gear Cruncher. Alright, here's another one. I need to move this, unfortunately. Oh man, my drawing is so good. Thanks for the follow. Sorry, let me find out who that was. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, follow Fireball Zora. Welcome to the stream. We are playing Eternal Pictionary as we draft. Should probably move this down so that's a l below the alert box so that people can see when that happens. Probably pitching the gun down here. Snow Crested. Okay. We have we have one mode. Thought this was eternal draft stream. It is an eternal draft stream. What are you talking about? All right, we're not blocking. Uh, not too many two threes in the format, and we want that work right. <laughs> Pain simulator. It's it's eternal pictionary. Right, let's get that target collar down. Give it the, everything quick draw. I think quick draw is. Very good for our deck. Return of Sunny Visax. Oh man, that's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this or realize this, but uh, uh, playing an instrument is hard work. Okay, we're gonna ship the gun down here for a temper. We're gonna have a temper on top of War Cry and attack for four. Excellent. That was a good turn. We get up to five, hopefully we can play the Moonlit Gargoyle, but getting up to three lets us play most things from our deck, and whatever is on our top of our deck is going to be quick draw and in addition to plus two attack. Yeah, well, I don't want 
them to play a 5-5. Five five, that's what they've got. Oh, Grace for a calligrapher. Man, my opponent hates fun. Opponent hates fun confirmed. Fast spell last turn. I'm kind of tempted to just trade double trade for the double lock for the choreographer. All right, I'll take that. We could still have five five. That'd be annoying. Hopefully, I just get a ruination sledge and uh, do some damage here. Reinforce baton. All right, I'm not sure. I love that trade from my opponent. I don't think it's particularly good for them. Ooh. Yeah, well, we're not not playing this this turn, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it has quick draw. That's so good. Um, yeah, we're not we're not going to attack again into like they have a four four or something. If we get a rampage. I think it might be worth it. Open to snow crushed animist on the fence. Worth putting into a thumb list. I mean, it's very good late in the game. I'm gonna do that. Sounds this, it's fine. I can't ruin it. If I draw another power, I can. If I draw another power, I'm gonna to wanna to play Moonlit Gargoyle, unless I draw a fire. Well, I don't. Actually, I think. Attacking like this is fine. I'm not going to double attack, just going to attack once. Alright, I'll take that trade. Hey, Mirror Theme. How you doing today? Did you hear about the news? The news regarding drops? It is exciting. This is silenced, so no more... Uh, no more quick draw, unfortunately. Let's attack both. I'm just gonna take that block. Okay. Fine. We're pretty far ahead on this raise. They're gonna need something with at least five attack to bring down our uh, gorilla fighter, so it's kinda cool. And then uh, if we draw a shadow, we get to play this moonlit gargoyle. Alright, time to go in. Oh. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna do that and play the gargoyle. Does it mean I'm doing it? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I am not. I mean, I, I use the opportunity I get of weekends to spend time with my girlfriend. I mean, I know that I say that a lot, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, like, I mean, it's the it's the best chance that we get to, to hang out. So I, she has permitted me to do one big stream today or one big stream over the weekend. And that'll most likely be on Thursday or sorry, Thursday. Saturday, um, and I'll also be streaming tomorrow to catch the beginning of the event, but that's all I'm going to be able to do, unfortunately. But I'm excited. What'd they say about draft? Did they say something about draft? Hey, Poetic Discord, um, I can understand where you're coming forward, uh, from, about, like, that being, but I think they actually had it planned out so that they were going to play against uh, Loco Pojo. Ooh, speaking of the devil. Um, so, because he was kind of teasing it on his Twitter, so I think that there was like some sort of agreement lined up. Like, Luis has definitely uh, raided me in the past, and I'm sure he will in the future. So, like, I'm not upset in the slightest about it. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is this? This is very good against what I'm doing. That's what it is. Oh, well, we're going to get the combust down, I guess. But I'd really like to be able to attack. You know what? I might actually just torch this. <laughs> um, it doesn't... 
does not work like that, Dokumoi. I have checked. Unfortunately, it does not. This is not going well for him, unfortunately. Is this going to be a saddle up? That's fine. Four. Yeah. Okay. Let's play an Audacious Bandit. Still got the two war cries from our top of our deck, and our units are going to have quick draw, which is nice. Oh, interesting. Oh, let's get that Grill Fighter down. No fastball. <laughs> I can actually stream under Loco Pojo's name. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Alright, Beaver Scout. And Oni running. Okay. Let's torch that. Ah, fastball. Ah, oh, they have their own torch. That's pretty good. Oh wow, that's huge. I, mean, I think this is the game where I ride Ravenous Thorn Beast Victory. I'm not gonna throw this away. I think I just like having a massive 7 7. It's got quick draw, like. Let's see, he has a downfall. There's not really a way to beat this. Maybe I shouldn't have targeted the Fever Scout. <laughs> I don't know. Lokopo just made some pretty good decks uh, over the time, over the years. The year? Years? Maybe I should have targeted the Owning Ronin, but I think we were going to get blown out by Fevered Scout either way. So if they actually saddle up at the Fevered Scout, we could be in some trouble. So we just need to make sure that there aren't any pauses. Or I can just drop the gun down. This could also easily be an entrapment. I don't want to attack into that. this off. Oh, it looks like there is another fast spell. Minus Dower. Does he also have an entrapment? Alright, I'm not going to sit around. totally does. Well, that doesn't look like an entrapment. Okay. But there is a fast spell. Jeez. Into the furnace. That's pretty good. Maybe that's the fast spell that you're thinking of. I'm gonna take six here. They have another fast spell. Crown Watch tactic? Wow, this fever uh, scout is really destroying me. Okay. Well, I suppose I should play this first. Eating the target color 7-7 seven, seven, much better than- Yeah, it's just it's difficult to see how he deals with the 7-7 seven, seven from this position. Airless Kopesh. And it's just going to attack for 5. Get the block. Bring him down to 1. No, I think I just do this on the Fevered Scout. Okay, well, let's attack both. I'm just gonna attack for seven. Okay. Alright. So, empty board. We should be good. 
Um, we'll have the fix-it for the uh, recycler here. Quick draw looks, I mean, yeah, the quick draw was strong, certainly. He does have another fast spell. Yeah, but he's not being this. I mean, he can just rampage the Thorn Beast here. And Detain might save him for a turn, but like, that's basically it. Rampage, I've got my own Rampage. I like your style. basically played all we had and we managed to come out on top so that feels pretty good all right ggs if anyone is a, in this chat and also in loco's chat tell them i say gg that um obviously didn't start out too great for him i guess with the war cries that really just snowballed into a really difficult position but we ended up having a real game out of it Uh, Dokomoi, we just discussed this, and the answer is yes. <laughs> um, no. I will probably end up reading him as I do not see... Let me get rain. Yeah. Just have people join the party. Well, you guys are probably actually watching him just because of the trip tra Twitch drops being live. Continuing on and being live. So, yeah. This has, like, ugh, as much power as I had ever wanted, but it curves out 1, 2, 3 really nicely, so I'm going to keep it. Most of our deck is no is not power on top of this. I, like, I would really like to have target color almost all the time. I haven't gotten a single drop since the... <laughs> Also because, Obviously. wait, what are you talking about third gatekeeper? Also, hello, welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> Couldn't hit Sudoku live. <laughs> what era do we live in? All right, well we drew one of our five drop, which is I, I guess a good thing if we're going to be in the position of um, having a lot of expensive stuff. Wild Rider. Okay, that's quick draw. That's good. I think we're okay trading one of these for fix it. We could also use the rampage here, but I don't love that. I would much rather be in a position like this where I could put the fix it on the drifter and get in that way. I could also put the um, rampage, or sorry, I could put it on it now, but I think that tips my hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that is why. I mean, uh, Pojo actually gets, this isn't the first time. I remember seeing him be hosted from Luis uh, previously and get a lot of viewers that way. So it's certainly not a first for him. Um, and, like, he's a partnered Twitch streamer. He's been streaming for a long time with his, all of his wacky ideas. It's a little awkward if I draw a power here, but we're just going to... This here. Let's start going to town. This is going to be difficult for them to block. Unfortunately, if they have a lightning strike or a clan tactic, there's not really a whole ton um, I can do in order to fight against it. It is, however, just going to be completely impossible to block, which is nice. And I have protection against Torch. Iceberg Warchief. Nice. Okay, well, I can just keep on attacking. Alright, well, I'm just gonna. Actually. I would rather use the torch on the 5 3 and then use the gun down on, like, the slope sergeant. <laughs> I am aware of this, Eric. Let's see how much he's feeling. This uh, this opponent is feeling like blocking. Okay. 
Like, this way I just get it for free, right? Oh, it did? I didn't even realize that. You see, I didn't... So I can trade Rampage for this, but the Wild Rider really just is not doing anything. Alright, well, we got a card out of it. Tangling Vines. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, if they're burning in Tangling Vines here, I think that's pretty good for us. It just buys them one turn on the attack. Again, if they have Clan Tactic or Lightning Strike, not really a whole ton we can do. That's fine. Okay, 2 4 is kind of good. I could rampage this. Um, actually, I kind of like that because then they don't have any good blocks. All right. Not a hundred percent on this play. Oh, they have a fast spell. Oh, if they have a torch that they've been sandbagging for the drifter, that is a pretty big deal. No, what what could this fast spell be? This is kind of confusing. Anyway, so now. We can just go to town on them, right? I don't think I want to attack with the target collar. They're not close enough to dead yet. Oh, is it Grun Farm? Oh. That was smart. Yeah, that's a smart play. This attacks, I trade with the target color, that's fine. I don't think I need to blow this gun down just yet. Okay. And I can gun down whatever they play if it's relevant. <laughs> Tangling lines, okay. I think to warp that is pretty nice for my opponent. Double quick draw action here, I think. And I really don't want to. I'm pretty okay blocking here if that's what they do. I think a good scenario would for them be for them to play a Runation Sledge or something on it. Okay. As long as whatever they war cry it is dies to gun down, or like this dies to gun down, that's fine. <laughs> Now you do not get double damage, unfortunately. Alright, so they have two war cries on top of their deck, which is kind of scary. Uh, but they're at a lower life total, we have a better board. Our deck is, like, almost all gas. I would have said all gas, but apparently it's not. But if whatever they play is basically going to be able to stonewall us. Dies to gun down. Well, not everything dies to condemn. Oops. Oh, it was a weapon, I see. Okay, so whatever they... Yeah, they must have, like, a welding torch or something. Okay, I really want to be able to get rid of this this turn, because otherwise they're going to have a gigantic welding torch. And that is not good. Alright, can we draw another gun down? Take that as a no. Attack for... If it's if it is a welding torch, if I attack. Shoot. If it's a ruination sledge, I should attack here. If it's a torch, attacking is bad. Hey, Tiny Smurf. Uh, no, 
also can win with Rampage. And we have a bunch of those. Sledge also is very good. That's the case. I think, I think I'm not going to attack. That would actually be a good spot for the what's the play, the article. Changey stick. That's actually... Shoot. Attacking would have been good there. Well, they still take four. Damn it. Two. They don't have any war cries. They don't have any help from their deck, as far as I know. We are 80% to draw, not a power. Uh, that's good. Oh, that also breaks this. Oh, that is excellent. And gives us quick draw? Okay. Say no more. I accept. 6 3. Just attack here. If I attack with these, they just eat them. They have to chump block here. Okay. I've got a lethal attack next turn. Whew, Ruination Sledge. Doing work. Well, I suppose this isn't lethal. But that was the card they drew. If they couldn't deal with this last turn, they're just kind of in the abyss. Alright. Hey, hey, Tattoo Doni. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We are drafting, as it is Wednesday, and we always draft on Wednesdays. Um, Twitch drops are live this weekend. I'll be I'll be on for the very beginning of it. On at, I'll start at around noon on Friday, and I'll be on until about four. So that's like an hour's worth of drops. <laughs> um, but also, oh, ooh. Um, I'll probably on, be on for Saturday. And speaking of Saturday, we're going to start a Saturday stream series here coming up. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to invite members of the community to uh, be a part of the stream and uh, for two, uh, two and a half hours. I'm not quite sure how long the stream's going to be, but um, for some amount of time on Saturdays, we're just going to have a different guest every week and we're going to do what they want to do in Eternal. And we're going to bring back the giveaways because I usually do giveaways on Fridays. Uh, we're going to move that to this Saturday stream. I'm pretty excited about it. I'd, uh, like to just, like, you know, hang out with people. <laughs> that's, that's what I've always been in for, is, uh, hanging out with people and playing games. Let's see, let me make sure that I have my calendar right, and I'm not just, like, savagely missing work. No, I'm good. Okay. We have until five. Alright, we should have, sorry, I should have started up the Pictionary. I was distracted by other things. Oops. Oh, why is the Viper Bridge shield not active? That's a punt. I think I figured this out, how to do this better. Okay. Here we go. Shield bash practice? Uh, kind of. Hot dog! This hand's good. I do want a third power, but as long as we don't draw another three drop, I think we actually might be okay, even if we don't draw it. Sabotage! Hey. Third, fourth, and fifth power. Yeah, that would be good too. 
I think we're okay even if we don't draw it. We can discard our 5 drop for a temper. Oh boy. That's awkward. Okay, well, let's do the thing that we said we were going to do. Hey, the sleepy lion, how you doing? We're about to get destroyed by a 2 3. <laughs> Can't beat a 2 3. Not, there are not a ton of 2 3s in this format. But our deck is very bad against 2 3s. <laughs> Let's throw a target color. Right. That's a plus. Hmm. I think I just attack with everything here. Do I? I Followed up with the eulogist. It's not insane though. Hand is suddenly really awkward. I'm gonna play the recycler. We're gonna play another recycler, and then we're gonna start trading off our units. Oh wow. Okay. Nighttime it is. That's some removal. I like that. We can combust the drifter at this, and then put the fix it on the Rakana outlaw. That's kind of nice. I kind of want to get the other recycler down first, though. Yeah, just for maximum not spewing my unit's value. As long as they don't have Black Sky Harbinger, like, if they have Black Sky Harbinger, that would be not good. <laughs> Also, you can invest more. Yeah, I don't think it's. I don't think it was time for the combust. Lightning storm, please no. Hey, Alvin, how you doing? likely do we think it is that they have a lightning strike? Because I would like to just put the sledge here and start bashing. I guess... I'm not going to be short of weapons, certainly. If they want a double block, that's fine. They have to block with everything in order to... The other thing I can do is I can torch the driver and attack with this. Hey Berlimski, how you doing? Twitch drops this weekend, you excited? I'm excited. Alright, let's just do this. Alright, I accept. Um, I actually don't care about Deadly that much. Oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the new one. They had a new one. Uh, yeah, this is. It's a three-three. Like that's a problematic stat line. <laughs> Deadly isn't that problematic on its own, but yeah. Hey, tattoo donut. Oh yeah, you're just saying that. Hey guys. Okay, what's it gonna be? If it's something huge, jump kick. All right. I don't see the like. I might not have attacked if that's the oh I still don't know about that. Like giving me fix it's is that's uh that's a bold move. So they've got Okay. Combust this Combust this Well, I've got a free attack here. Do I want to put the sledge on? I don't have overwhelm. I think I can bust this. Let's 
see as perfect removal for my CUSCs. I actually don't think I do this. I think they're likely to block, and it's not worth uh, putting a fix it on something that I know is just going to die. So, like, I think this is going to be the awkward post combat fix it. But I think that's fine. And block, block. This actually plays pretty well into what I'm trying to do. Because then I can put the fix it on the 2 1, and that makes their snowball not very exciting. They still have the stupid 2 3 that's annoying for me to deal with, but I think it's fine. Alright, well, let's put the fix it. Here. So I basically have to block that one. So I've got Snowball plus Mystery, and I guess that's the Mystery, huh? Okay, so if we put both on... Oh, we can't put both. But if we put the Fix-It here, they're basically dead, right? Oh, I have the Temper from a million years ago. Okay. Alright, cool. I don't think they needed to blow that Jump Kick then. I think they should have used it to protect their units. It's like the deadly was not a huge deal, I, I don't think. Alright. Back to what we are actually here for. Oops, not not getting rid of the chat box, getting the pic picture back. Yeah, the two three like I said, two three really messes up us up. There aren't a ton of them, fortunately, in the uh, in the format, but the ones that do exist are not good for us. Entrapment? Nope, non entrapment. <laughs> what? Back to reality? Oops, there goes gravity? Are those song lyrics or something? There's actually not a whole ton left in this picture. Well, back to the game. Uh, we got a recycler. I think we can do Ben in this hand. Uh, no, not uh, Porter. I, I I know which card you're talking about, Green Flame, but it's not it. All right, on the play. Wow, look at this hand. So aggressive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I know like four pop songs total, as an accurate assessment my pop song knowledge. Alright, so we're gonna play Recycler and just attack into the Endurance unit. Hopefully they don't have Bold Adventure. Like, Bold Adventure really screws us up. Rebuke. Boy, that's aggro. It's super famous from memes, etc. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might regret this later. I don't think I want to temper with this hand. Hatchery Hunter? Not Hatchery Hunter. That's a good guess. Where's the monk? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. All right, killed it. Sweet, got to fix it. <clears throat> so next turn, I can grill a fighter, bash with everything as long as they didn't play something with endurance. Cheat! My opponent is cheat. That is cheat. Ugh. 
Do I attack with everything? Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, we're gonna... Stick this on and attack for five. Cycler is OP. Cycler is really good. Yuna? Alright, we need a rapid shot. A space? I was thinking about it, Alfin, and I'm not... I'm not sure that's wrong. What is this? This is not fair, that's what it is. Okay, they're not gonna have an additional blocker next turn. If they wanna eat two of my units, block, block, that's fine. Oh man, where's my temper? <laughs> And train ground. Okay, 3-3 three, three train ground. Wow, so much endurance. Okay, so I'm definitely A spacing this turn. Assuming they don't have a fourth power. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ooh. Block, block. We're double block here. It takes six, go down to four, and play the audacious bandit. They only have this left. <sighs> okay, so do I attack or do I grill a fighter and then attack? I think actually Grillo Fighter then attack. They block here and here they take nine, they go to one. That's basically as best they can do. block the okay that was kind of a weird block all right nightfall gets them hopefully they don't have anything with lifesteal or something some way of gaining health that would be pretty cheat if all they have is one unit yeah okay they get to attack here that's fine you have to see if they have fast bell. i'm not sure that actually attacking is great so i need to play two units here they need a unit that's big enough to block the five four Oh, uh, just playing a unit and passing? Well... Hopefully they don't have Crown Watch Tactic. No, oh, that's the game. Alright! Okay, we have five minutes. We only have five minutes. Okay, we only have... Uh, we might have one more. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would lie about Pojo having drops active. That would be kind of rude. Anyway. So this is probably going to be it for the stream. Can any of you guys guess this? This is like... <laughs> What else, like, what else can I even draw in this picture? Like, I can do hair color, too? No, not Rebel Sharpshooter. What? Parapet <laughs> Sentry from another angle. I mean, I will admit that I'm not the best. It's like this one. This one just strikes me as being something that's really hard to guess. Got Nustrix, nice. Bring down, no. What else am I supposed to draw in this? <laughs> Give you the set, all right. This is from the Dusk Road, set three.
<laughs> you found it? Yeah, this is really hard. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's Gear Master. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Congratulations, Brulimski. You did it. He? I think that's a she. Alright. Onion Ronin, get in there. They have Badonka Badonka Donk. Alright, so. This is probably going to be basically the end of the stream today. Um, actually, maybe I should have played this and gotten four power on the board. That actually might have been a little better. I can attack the drifter and not worry about that. Anyway. Ooh. Wow. Look at us go. Okay, so uh, tomorrow there's going to be a stream, but it is going to be um, magic and not eternal, unfortunately. I do love my eternal, but um, I have an RPTQ. <laughs> I need to practice for it since I haven't played in forever. Okay, I mean, 5 4 with quick draw has to be good enough here. Uh, but we'll be back on... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play the 19 Mountain Red deck. Oh, man. That's pretty good. That's also pretty good. Alright. Oh, wait. This was already gonna be a 6-5? Lol. If I attack everyone, I can also shrink the kill this, shrinking it, shrinking this. That's pretty good. No, they're dead in two turns. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Harold. Voice recording typing, nice. Song all as you tried to pass the turn. All right, we're doing it. I mean, this has overwhelm too. Like, oh, I see. Very well. Oh my God! Quick draw on that. That's so good. I want free attack with everything. Eat this. Probably block this the same way. Uh, yeah, I may have played this incorrectly because now they're going to get to uh, survive at one. But yeah, I think we're okay. We should be fine with the territorial elf. Yeah. And they invested a lot into this Longhorn treasurer. Just in case we get harsh ruled, no, I mean, okay, they need to have the harsh rule in their hand, and they need to have power. So I think I'm okay doing this. Well, there's the power. <laughs> Corrupted Umbran doesn't do it because I've got two huge quick draw units. A big enough weapon on this does. Oh wow, their deck was not joking around. All right, sweet. Looks like, I mean, they got the Longhorn Treasures, but we managed to get through it. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Um, that was fun. Uh, we got to 5, 3, and 7, so we, our total record is 12 and 4. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, I'm just going to throw you guys over to Pojo, because he's got the that sweet um, drop action going. I'll be back on tomorrow with some magic. I'll be back on Friday for some more Eternal. No, don't do it. You beat him. <laughs> he doesn't deserve us. No, that's fine. Um, and then I'll be back on Saturday with hopefully a guest on stream, and we'll have some drop action going. All right, see you guys later.